Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mushroom Brady, guys. Another video. In today's video, I got my KTM out RC390. We're not going to talk about this. I don't know if you guys want to see videos on the KTM RC390. This is a motorcycle compared to our dirt bike videos that we're used to doing. But I just want to know down in the comment section below and giving this video a thumbs up. If we can break like 200 likes on this video, I know you guys are going to want to see a KTM RC390 video. You can see like top speed. We can do like, I don't know, different videos of comparing how fast this is compared to the those bikes again it is a smaller engine it's only a three like 70 something cc which is not that fast compared to those those are like 125 140 and then 250 but if you guys do want to see a video of this bike of me riding this bike and tell you guys exactly my opinion on it it's a beginner bike so it's very cheap and the insurance on it is extremely cheap so if you guys do want a first bike if, and you want your motorcycles license and stuff like that this is a good bike to actually review for you guys. So let me know if you guys want to see like my pros and cons on this bike. Just let me know in the comment section below if you even care for the motorcycle or if you guys only want dirt bikes. I need to know in the comments. But with that being said, let's get into the video. I'm going to show you guys the Tao Tao and compare it to the 007. Now these bikes are filthy. They're dirty. We were hitting the trails the other day. I tried to record video on the Tao Tao, Teo Teo, whatever you guys want to call it, this weekend. But uh, my freaking audio ended up getting completely screwed. So I don't have any audio in the videos which sucks and it sucks because if you guys follow me on snapchat we rolled deep this weekend like we had four wheelers dirt bikes we had everything we were so deep if you guys follow me on snapchat you would have seen how deep we were this weekend but yeah with that being said let me pull out the bike uh and compare it i'm gonna put the the tail tail and then also the uh, Apollo 007 next to each other so you guys can compare height and then we'll talk about it a little bit and then we'll go on a ride around the neighborhood just real quick so you guys can see what it's like and yeah, let's let's get it, let's start it. Actually, before we bring out the 007, I wanna show you guys how sexy does this look. My, my freaking orange KTM motorcycle right next to my orange dirt bike. Now, I think this, this looks freaking sick. This would be a sick picture thumbnail or whatever it is. It would look really nice. Now, starting off, you can already tell the height difference of the seats is completely different. So this one comes up to about comes up to about right here, like my under pocket of my side. Now that's with the bike leaned over just a little bit. Now with this bike leaned over a little bit as well, it comes up even higher, which comes up to like my hip right here. If you guys can see, it comes up here. The other one came up to like right here. This one comes up to up here. And that's the dirt bike compared to a uh, sports bike, motorcycle and stuff like that. And that's with this bike leaning over way more if we could tilt it up i don't know if you could tell but if we tilt it up it gets even taller let's compare it next to it like as you can see with it tilted up the seat height is already as tall as like the gas tank almost it's just a lot taller of a bike but i wanted to show you guys that now let's get the uh, apollo out here and put this in the garage all right now that we got that bike in the garage um you guys can see now i know you guys are probably like that doesn't look like the 007 my roommate ended up ripping off all the panels it looks a lot better when the bike's actually clean the bike is just completely filthy i'll show you guys after he cleans it one day but he ripped off all the panels and you guys probably don't remember but my bike has all the stickers completely off so this is what it looks like with all the stickers completely removed or not removed but like the little I don't know plastic sheet that was on top of these stickers looks pretty nice man it looks really really clean now my bike's not as dirty as his because he was riding a lot longer but as you guys can tell you can already see the height difference all right so I'll go to ground level so you can actually see now if we're over here it's kind of hard to tell in, on video but you can just definitely tell that the Apollo 007 is a lot shorter than this bike. I mean, this bike sits up a lot taller. If I get behind it, as you can see, it covers the Apollo completely. Like it, it just, it makes it look like a shorter bike. Now, if I get on this side, it's, it's harder to tell because you can still see my bike over the Apollo. But if I do this on the other side where I get eye level, you cannot see the Apollo at all, which is, a, it's a huge difference. But I do want to say that this 007 right here, this black Apollo 125 is a trooper. This bike has the least amount of problems compared to the Tao Tao 140, the RFZ Apollo 125, and the Apollo 250 RX. The actual 007 so far has had the best engine. It's had the least amount of problems on it. I did replace a carburetor. That could be a big reason. Uh, so I did go out and buy another carburetor that's sitting over here. In this box right here, I got another carburetor that I'm going to put on the uh, 
Tao Tao, but I'm gonna do that video a little different than I did this one. This one, I showed a how to. This one right here, I'm gonna do a speed test with the old carburetor, and then I'll do a speed test with the new carburetor. And I'll also do like maybe wheelies, see what it looks like, or see how it feels, if it feels any different. So that way, I could break it down for you guys a little bit better so you guys know exactly how it feels and stuff like that. Um, just because last time it was kind of, I kind of just put it on there and told you guys how it felt. But this time, you'll see the speed difference if there even is one. Now, again, keep in mind, this carburetor is like, $30 maybe $40 it's stupid cheap so if you guys do want a carburetor that's better than the Chinese bike one you guys can actually get that but I'm gonna take this bike for a ride right now um, but you guys can already see the height difference on these two bikes alright guys let's see if the bike actually kicks first kick I hope the audio is actually working um, this bike it was having problems my very first day riding it I rode it and then when I cut the bike off it would not turn on to save its life like we had to roll it down the hill put it in first gear to actually start it um, because it wasn't working before oh let's see if we could get this bike going is my key on yeah the keys on might take a second There we go but once it's on it's on it's good to go let me actually put my phone and stuff down but this is what you guys wanted to see I mean I have the bike running and we can rev it a little bit you can already hear it bogging and that's with that's with the choke fully open and that's what that's one of the problems I was having with this bike let me actually go ride and tell you guys about that um, but the bike does feel a lot taller it's got four gears just like the Apollo a little bit more bouncy so like hitting turns and stuff like that it does feel a little bit better I can feel more power in this bike compared to the Apollo um, the bike does have more power I can feel it but the wheelies are a little bit hard still but that I think that's just because the carburetor on this bike isn't the best in the world Try to pop a wheelie really real quick. Yeah, you can feel it. It wants to pop. You can feel that it wants to pop. Um, it's just the carburetor, because of the bogging, because of that bogging, I can't give it that gas that I need to give it in order to pop the wheelie. I know some people are going to be like, you should just lean back a little bit and and uh, pull the bike back I'll show you guys what that looks like if I pull the bike back it'll get up I promise it's just that bogging really affects it big time oh, it's the bogging man normally I promise you guys normally it works a lot better than that it's just it's just the bike's boggy but yeah I just want to show you guys a quick ride video I can't ride this bike too much and the reason I can't do that the reason I can't ride this bike out too much is because um, they're missing a screw when I first got the bike in the handlebars and you guys can kind of see it like I'm holding the wheel completely still you can see the wiggle it gets way worse than this to the point where it's like I can't control the bike just because it, I can't like when I turn there's so much wiggle in the steering wheel that it doesn't react in time so it's a lot harder so it's dangerous so I'm just waiting on that I changed the oil already I did everything I just need to swap out the carburetor and wait for them to send this tool they said it, it was on back order or the the tool or the piece is not in stock or something like that so it's gonna take a little bit longer which it's kind of bullshit I mean they forgot a piece so why do I have to wait for them to go in stock like they should order from a new website or something 
in order to get me the piece. The piece that they're trying to get is like 25 cents. Like it's 25 cents on the website they're trying to get it from. They can literally go somewhere else and spend a dollar, ship it to me, instead of just being cheap and waiting for that long. And guys, the website I got it from is Killer Motorsports. They they always do this every single time we order a bike from them. They mess up somehow by not sending a piece. Their customer service takes forever to respond and it's just really slow. Unless you buy the bike, they don't give two shits about you. I've, I've emailed them many times and none of them ever respond they just they don't care unless you're actually buying the bike once you confirm a purchase of the bike then you'll notice that they email you extremely quick which kind of sucks but yeah there you guys have the tail tail 140 cc if you guys want to see a race video of the tau tau versus the 007 then let me know in the comment section below as well um again give this video a thumbs up if we can break 200 likes we can do like a race against the street bike against the 140 or the 250 we could do the street bike versus the 250 uh the cc's are kind of close to each other this bike is pretty heavy comp well it's light for a street bike but compared to the dirt bikes it's a lot heavier but we could do a, a racing video like that but with that being said if you guys enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new and i will see you guys in another video covering some more tau tau apollo and RFZ, all that stuff. We're covering all the Chinese bikes on this website. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.